Welcome to another session of Black and Blue. We're glad to be here today. I'm Pastor Stephen Starkey. And I'm Deaconess Micah Petron. And we're here today to talk about brave hearts. But before we do that, it's a great honor to have you, Pastor Starkey. Well, I'm glad to fill in a little bit for Pastor Sheehan. He's on vacation right now, so I'm helping out. <laughs> yes, and we appreciate it so much. So, You're a member here at Grace. Yes, I and am, and just love being a part of the parish. So Awesome. Yeah, but you have a, a lot of experiences behind you. I mean, you're you're a retired pastor. Retired pastor of 38 years in the ministry. Wow. And uh, two years in downtown Chicago, 15 years in Middletown, Connecticut, and then 21 years in Bay City at uh, Ameleth. Wow. Amoleth, so. Very cool. It's good to have you. That's and good. I, you've written a couple of hymns, and by a couple meaning over 200. <laughs> yes, since 1983. So it's I've been writing since 1983. So, wow. Uh, it averages out, I think, to about five or six a year, maybe. Okay, So cool. And, and what got you started doing that? That's a good question. Uh, I started during my SEM4 year and was just reflecting upon a number of things. And so I tried my hand at writing a mm -hmm. hymn and mm -hmm. shared it with Dr. Scare. Oh. <laughs> and he was very encouraging. Uh, I take a lot of classes with Dr. Scare and Good. Uh, I respected his opinion. So, mm. um, and went on from there. And then as I got into the ministry and there were occasions for which there was not a hymn, I would try my hand at that. And, and I got encouragement along the way from people that, that I thought highly of. So that helped a lot too. Awesome. So, wow. And 200 plus hymns later, <laughs> we're here today, and yeah. that's and that's so, actually what we're going to be looking yes, at yeah. a, a hymn that you you wrote and uh, called "Brave Hearts Made Bold: God's Truth Confessed." And right, and that's the brave hearts that we talked about earlier. It is, and uh, the brave hearts refers to those uh, princes and leaders of free cities and the theologians who, in 1530, stood before Charles V and gave the confession of what Lutherans believe. This was nine mm -hmm. years after Luther uh, stood before the emperor at Worms. So mm -hmm. very important date in Lutheran history, and the confession, of course, very important. Yeah. When you become a pastor or a deaconess, you uh, bow to, you know, that this is a, a true document that supports Scripture's teaching. So, mm -hmm. And it is. So. so brave hearts made bold, God's truth confessed. It was written in 2016 for um, another al alternate use, possible use during 2017, the 500th anniversary of the Reformation. And so I was assigned to write a hymn for the presentation of the Augsburg Confession, June 25th. So that was the impetus for writing the hymn, an assignment uh, from Concordia Publishing House to do that. Uh, in 2017, that was the 487th anniversary of the presentation of the Augsburg Confession. We're coming up on the 500th anniversary of that in 2030. So wow. we're really only seven years away from that. So that's sort of exciting. So brave hearts I had in mind were those theologians uh, and uh, pastors and princes that signed the document because they really were risking their reputation to do mm -hmm. that. And so, I'll read the first stanza. Please. A brave hearts made bold, God's truth confessed, both life and honor daring. The apostolic faith expressed before the world declaring that God is one, yet one in three, co-equal in their majesty, God, Father, Son, and Spirit. So those brave hearts uh, made this confession before the emperor. And so the Augsburg Confession has 28 articles. And so when you're given this assignment, well, how do I write a hymn on the Augsburg Confession? How, what's going to be the organizing principle? You, I turned to uh, the scripture lessons that were assigned for that festival. And then I also turned to the Augsburg Confession itself. And you realize that you can't write 28 stanzas. On the Augsburg <laughs> That's a lot of singing. <laughs> stanza, stanza for each article. Not all articles are as important as others. And so... Uh, I began with Article 1, which is the article on God. And so stanza 1 ties into that. God is one yet, one in three, co-equal in their majesty, God, Father, Son, and Spirit. And so going on from there, Article 2, Original Sin, Article 3, the Son of God, Article 4, Justification. Those themes are in the verses after that, speaking about Christ and mm -hmm. his work, 
uh, then the forgiveness that Christ has won for us through his death on the cross. And then going on from that stanza, I begin to reflect on some of the thoughts that were in the lessons of the day, in stanzas four and five. Mm -hmm. And uh, continuing on to the end, the final stanza of Brave Hearts, Be Bold, God's Truth Confess, I bring it in the present time and encourage people to make that same confession of faith. Mm -hmm. Nice. No, that's awesome. So I'm wondering, um, what is uh, what are some things that we should be looking for as we're singing this hymn? Well, um, you could be thinking about the Articles of the Augsburg Confession, although I think most people don't have those in mind. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> and so um, possibly the thing to do would be to read the text and let people listen to it. And maybe go stanza by stanza and then talk about that text. That yeah, bill. let's do it. All right. Stanza one, brave hearts made bold, God's truth confessed, both life and honor daring. The apostolic faith expressed before the world declaring that God is one, yet one in three, co-equal in their majesty, God, Father, Son, and Spirit, Article 1. Mm -hmm. uh, second stanza, God's only Son embraced our shame, original sin, mm -hmm. Article 2. Our, te our tent of flesh assuming this guiltless Lord, so he assumed our flesh, but without sin. Mm -hmm. This guiltless Lord, our sin became, sin's wage to death, him dooming, the wages of sin is death. In Pontius Pilate's judgment hall, be decked in bloodied purple pall, Christ made the good confession. Now that's from St. Paul. St. Paul refers to that, how Christ made the good confession there before mm -hmm. Pilate. Yeah, and really for all the times where we haven't made the good confession. Right. Yeah. And and I love the imagery with that of thinking about um, Jesus standing in Pontius Pilate's hall. I mean, here, right. the, the occasion for you writing the hymn was all these princes right. standing before an emperor. And now we actually are reminded of the Son of God right. <laughs> standing before an earthly ruler, Pontius Pilate. But here yes. he's doing it. Yeah. Um, uh, in or for all of us, for you and for me and you yes. guys. <laughs> and I, always, I always have the image in mind that's that painting, Behold the Man. You've probably yeah. seen it too, where Christ is dressed in that purple robe with the mm -hmm. crown of thorns, mm -hmm. and Pilate presents him before the crowd there. And that's was sort of the image in mind with this stanza as well. Yeah, it's a very it's an important image. Yes, it is. Third stanza, our full forgiveness. So now we're talking about. Uh, Article 4, Justification and Forgiveness. Yeah. Um, our full forgiveness, Christ has won what sinless, selfless dying. Faith trusts all Jesus Christ has done. His merit justifies. There's Article 4. Mm -hmm. Article 3 is the Son of God. Article 4, Justification. Mm -hmm. His holy, spotless righteousness, we here believe and here confess. No work can gain God's favor. So you want to be very clear that we're saved by God's grace through faith in Christ, mm -hmm. that works have no part of that. And that's yeah. a good Lutheran thought. This should be <laughs> Lutheran hymns. It's certainly all the Reformation hymns exactly. contain that thought as well. Because it's the beating heart of the Reformation. Right. That is right. all Jesus has done, not anything that, that you have, have right. or yeah. I have done. Yeah. Uh, faith saves. Uh, faith in Christ. Uh, so then we, then I think, as I look at stanza four, I think I was reflecting upon Psalm 26 mm. and Nehemiah 8.10, which were some of the um, lectionary uh, scriptures assigned for this festival. But then also, it, I'm talking about the law and the gospel in that verse. So then mm -hmm. I'm uh, talking uh, with regards to... Um, uh, the church is preaching and new obedience and the ministry. Um, those articles speak about what the church is to do. For example, Article 5 of the Augsburg Confession. So that we may, uh, may obtain this faith, the ministry of teaching the gospel and administering the sacraments was instituted. Through the word and sacraments, as through instruments, the Holy Spirit is given. He works faith when and where it pleases God in those who hear the good news that God justifies those who believe that are received into the grace of Christ, into grace for Christ's sake. This happens not through our own merits, but for Christ's sake. And so that the preaching of the, the law and the gospel, and what that does, was contained mm -hmm. in stanza four. O Lord, I love your holy house, your glory here is dwelling. 
Your law is preached my heart to rouse, to censure its rebelling. Your gospel words of truth and grace, all fears within my heart erase, glad news of peace, O oh Jesus. And so really trying to, what, what does the pastor do? He's preaching the long gospel so that faith uh, that's already been given in the heart in baptism is grown and encouraged mm. uh, in the life of faith. So. Awesome. Yeah, because in baptism, we're given a new heart. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, now we have a heart of flesh. It's right. a fearless heart of flesh, right. not a scaredy cat, uh, stone, stone heart. heart. That's right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And that uh, faith is continually nourished through mm -hmm. the word and through the sacraments yeah. as we as we grow. And then it leads to uh, Article uh, 6, new obedience, you know, and things like that, too. And uh, in Articles, Article 7 and Eight, what the church is, and then the article nine, baptism, Lord's Supper. I didn't really go into those, or I didn't really have a stanza on baptism mm -hmm. or stanza on the Lord's Supper. This was really the stanza that tied in those thoughts. But you tied that in with beautiful imagery of, <clears throat> oh Lord, I love your holy house, that here's the location where all of yes. this takes place. Here's where you, that uh, brave heart is, is nurtured. It's given, it's nurtured, and right. continued to be strengthened. Yep. It's where it finds its home and belonging. And I find that as I come to church here at Grace and, you know, I settle, settle in the pew, which is different after having been a pastor, you know. Yeah. But I I love this house. I love that here I hear the word of God. Here I receive the sacrament. Here my faith is fed and encouraged. And so I do love this house when I come to worship. Yay! So, Aww, um, me too. So, uh... I think that's probably from Psalm 26, although I don't have mm -hmm. that with me right now. But uh, I think that thought is probably contained in the Psalms is where I got that from. Mm -hmm. And so there, now thinking about what the gospel truth is, stanza five, your steadfast love before my eyes, mm -hmm. your faithfulness my blessing. Now we're getting back to the confession aspect. Your truth mm -hmm. I cannot compromise before the world confessing. Uh, for in your word and sacrament, I find my strength, and I'm content and taste the joy of heaven. So, you know, it's it's sort of a, a further uh, playing out of stanza four, mm -hmm. you know, the word and sacrament feeding our faith and, and keeping us on that heavenly path, but also getting the importance of the confession, because that's what I wanted to get back to, mm -hmm. since the title of the hymn is Brave Hearts Made Bold, God's Truth Confessed, and mm -hmm. you want to get from the Augsburg Confession of 1530 to our confession in 2023, you know, mm -hmm. or 2016 as it was written. Yeah. And so, uh, stanza six, In you, Lord Christ, I have no fear, nor fear the world's defaming. Your hidden whispered word is clear, my joy is clear proclaiming. Now that's straight out of Matthew 10, mm -hmm. which was last Sunday's gospel. Yes. Is, and that's why we use the hymn <laughs> that Sunday. <laughs> but, you know, it's just... Jesus says, what you hear whispered, you know, mm -hmm. shout from the rooftops. And so that's, you know, our, our bold confession in our age. Though hostile foes my body kill, my soul is safe within your will, avowed before your Father. I remember originally the word I had there, though haters oh. may my body kill. And uh, a friend of mine at CPA said, you know, that word is really... Uh, not a good word to use in light. And I guess there's a singer nowadays that talk, has this whole mm -hmm, song about hate, mm -hmm. haters. And I, I, that's, that's, I don't want to use a word that's not a good word to use. And so mm -hmm. hostile foes actually fits better. Anyways. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really broad. Broader, yes. Yeah. yeah. It, and I, I love that, you know, my soul is safe within your will, avowed before your father, that, that reminder that Jesus is confessing us right. before his father in heaven, before our father Right. In heaven, so we get to be bold in, in confessing, knowing that Jesus is also confessing us right, right. before and the Father. Interceding for us on our behalf as our great high priest. Exactly. Going so. to bat, as Pastor <laughs> Sheehan would say. <laughs> that sounds like Pastor Sheehanism. <laughs> uh-huh, yep, indeed. So, well, the final stanza now brings it to our uh, present time. Brave hearts, be bold, God's truth confess, your life and honor daring. The apostolic faith expressed by word and deed declaring the love of God in Christ for all, that all may heed love's wedding call and feast with God forever. So I try to end that on that gospel call note. So, you know, um, 
and I think it's made a good ending for the hymn because you know our confession of the truth is so that others others might share mm. uh, the good the good news we have in Christ share our share Christ with us share the blessings of Christ you know mm-hmm. heaven and forgiveness and all mm-hmm. of that um, and I love the image of the the wedding call the wedding yeah. hall so. No, and it's beautiful. I mean, that's it's it's going. This is what it's all about. We want everyone to come and have the the feast with Jesus. Come and have din din. <laughs> come and come and eat. Come and be whole. Um, come and receive all that Jesus wants to give you. That's right. the whole reason we're we're bold. Right. Yeah. Um, and want people to want people to share that joy. And that's difficult in today's world. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, it's getting more difficult every passing year with. Various groups that are very hostile towards the Word of God and the, mm-hmm. word of, and the teachings of the Word of God, mm-hmm. um, whether it's people from the woke uh, mob or whatever it is. But, you know, Christians really, if you're going to be brave and confess God's truth, there's going to be a response. There is yeah. going to be a so. response. But I love how your hymn always keeps <clears throat> coming back to, we have... Uh, nothing to fear. Right, yes. Because we're getting to be in Jesus, hidden in him in um, baptism. We're getting to uh, feast on Jesus' body and blood to strengthen right. us. And right. we we get to hear his uh, good confession of our sins forgiven in our ears. And right, and his spirit lives within us and continues to uh, sanctify us and, mm-hmm. and embolden us yeah. as well. Yeah. So that's the seven stanza hymn. Awesome. Um, and... Do you think I should read the whole seven stanzas now as a hymn? Let uh, people hear yes. the whole thing? Yes, let's hear it just as its okay. whole composition, please. Right. Brave hearts made bold, God's truth confessed, both life and honor daring. The apostolic faith expressed before the world declaring that God is one yet one in three, co-equal in their majesty, God, Father, Son, and Spirit. God's only Son embraced our shame, our tent of flesh assuming, This guiltless Lord our sin became, sin's wage to death him dooming. In Pontius Pilate's judgment hall, bedecked in bloodied purple pall, Christ made the good confession. Our full forgiveness Christ has won, what sinless, selfless dying. Faith trusts all Jesus Christ has done, his merit justifying. His holy spotless righteousness we here believe and here confess, no work can gain God's favor. O Lord, I love your holy house, your glory here is dwelling. Your law is preached, my heart to rouse, to censure its rebelling. Your gospel words of truth and grace, all fears within my heart erase. Glad news of peace, O Jesus. Your steadfast love before my eyes, your faithfulness my blessing. Your truth I cannot compromise before the world confessing. For in your word and sacrament, I find my strength and am content and taste the joy of heaven. In you, Lord Christ, I have no fear, nor fear the world's defaming. Your hidden whispered word is clear, my joy it's clear proclaiming. Though hostile foes my body kill, my soul is safe within your will, avowed before your Father. Brave hearts, be bold, God's truth confess, your life and honor daring. The apostolic faith expressed by word and deed declaring the love of God in Christ for all that all may heed love's wedding call and feast with God forever. And the tune that is was written for this hymn is called Augustana, which makes sense. <laughs> Cause the that's for the, yep, because that's the uh, Latin name? I believe so, yes. The Latin name yes. for the Augsburg Confession. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Kevin Hildebrand wrote that mm-hmm. tune, and um, very... It's a very well written too. I like his tunes, and he did a fine job in this one too. Yes, he did. So, oh, awesome. So that's brave hearts. Brave hearts, and indeed. You want to be a brave heart? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you've already been given one in baptism, uh, and that's brave hearts being strengthened every day now. So whether it's going to school or going to work, um, you have Jesus' words of forgiveness, life, and salvation to to share with all right. with. Boldness. With boldness. <laughs> with so, boldness. Yes. So thank you so much, everyone. Well, thank you, Pastor well, Starkey. Great, great to be here today. <laughs> and by his wounds. We are healed. Amen. Bye. Amen. Bye-bye. <laughs>